Hi, today I'm going to talk about how you can make a move to quant development. Uh, I have made videos, some videos about uh, what is quantitative uh, development on this channel. Uh, but I'll you know, briefly talk about what is quantitative development and how you can make a move from being a developer in other fields to work as a quant developer. Okay, so quant developers are the ones who work in the banking and financial service industry in uh, in implementing models used in uh, in these industries. Okay, so you could be working with the trading firms implementing their models. You could be working with uh, banks implementing their models. You could be working with insurance companies implementing their models. So why is it a specialized field? Why is it different from other uh, type of uh, software development fields? Uh, simply because this is a very domain specific field. You, you are required to have some understanding of uh, modeling, some understanding of finance and financial products. And if you make a mistake, it could cost a lot of money actually. Unlike in other fields where the stakes are not that high here in the in the financial service industry the stakes are quite high actually so people cannot afford to hire someone who is completely new to the trading environment to the banking environment or to uh, investment environment and uh, as a software developer uh, if you make mistakes uh, it can cost uh, a, a lot of things secondly you will be interacting with a lot of modelers and front office people so if you do not have any knowledge of uh, financial products and models, you will be in trouble. You may not be able to effectively communicate with those people. Hence, uh, it requires some level of specialization. In fact, specialization is needed even in other uh, fields, other if you are working as a developer in other fields, uh, but certainly in finance, because there are too many jargons used in in the world of finance, investment and trading, you are uh, supposed to understand many of them. Otherwise, any miscommunication can lead to uh, problems. And um, yeah, you also need to understand some modeling techniques, uh, if not at detail level, but at a high level, right? So how do you make a move and why do you want to even make a move? First of all, it's a very lucrative actually. Uh, I know that a, a lot of people actually, uh, even the ones who work in big tech companies like, you know, the uh, Google and Microsoft, many of them quit their jobs and, and move to quant development. They do not necessarily work as uh, traders or a researcher, uh, but just uh, developing systems for trading systems for investment systems for uh, model implementations in big banks or trading firms uh, very lucrative um, pays quite a lot also because uh, you are someone who is not just a developer just another developer but you also understand mathematical models to some extent and you have understanding of finance that really makes you a bit more special uh, in the job market and you have good bargaining power uh, especially uh, you know, among uh, the top trading firm, top, uh, you know, commercial banks. Okay. Do note that um, the most important skill in order to become a quant developer is to be just a good developer, right? You are a good C++ developer, Python developer, Java developer, C Sharp developer. So that's the most important thing. Right. No amount of modeling knowledge or finance knowledge will be able to help you as much as your programming knowledge. So that's the most important thing. You need to be really good in your software development skills or programming skills. You must have experience with developing um, softwares and you must have experience in the real world software development with you know understanding of good design principles, understanding of how to write efficient code, very important to know that in this particular field, computational ef uh, efficiency is very important, right? How efficient is your code is, whether it's taking a lot of time to run or it is taking short time to run. So computational efficiency is very, very, very important in the quant development field, 
in fact in some of these fields such as in high frequency trading it is perhaps the most important thing because you want to have uh, an advantage over your peers your competitors when it comes to you know um, the time to trade the time takes to you know uh, to you know uh, buy or sell something in the market right and that requires efficiency so computational efficiency understanding of that is very important you need to have good understanding of computational algorithm if you haven't done computer science you have done any other subject you can easily buy a book and learn some um yeah some of the important algorithms used uh, in in writing good softwares right many developers <coughs> don't use that in my other industry actually i have i've come across many of them who just write decent code but they don't really care about uh the computational efficiency of of the code that they write okay knowledge of financial product is also important uh but it's less important right 80 90% of your uh, assessment will be primarily on your coding skills and your uh, skills uh, or knowledge on computational algorithms um you know the computer science algorithms right um search algorithm sorting algorithms and there are many more right dijkstra algorithm i learned quite a number of things uh, long back uh i don't have a computer science background but i did quite learn quite a quite a bit of uh, yeah the uh, algorithms in 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 a course i took uh, on uh, data structure and uh, algorithms so that you need to be good with uh, you need to be good at and then you also need to learn some of the uh, financial products you know understanding of derivative understanding some of banking product uh, also is very important secondary not the primary skill but if you have that knowledge then you will be preferred over someone who has no understanding of uh, banking insurance trading investment right um you also need to understand uh, some high level of modeling uh, at least you need to have understanding of what is the structure of a model right many times you will uh, come across models which are just equations linear equations quadratic equations how to sort of interpret it right how to um, put that in a uh, in in a uh, how to implement that on some some and build a system around it right that's not so obvious to many developers you know i know many developers who are who will be get who will be frightened when they see mathematical abstract models and that is not a good sign if you want to work in uh, quant development but you need to have understand some understanding of that you will see differential equations you will see uh, some sort of equations to be implemented sometimes easy equations simple equations sometimes very complicated ones in fact if you work in the quant development in banks you will come across very complicated mathematical equations to be implemented right um what is required of you is that you have at least the understanding of the final equation to be uh, implemented you need not understand how this equation has been built how this equation has been derived what are some, what are the assumptions whether this going to work or not whether you know somebody has back tested it or not properly in the historical data all that is not required of you but you must have some understanding of what the parameters are what the variables are how to properly uh, uh you know implement such something like that i mean if you have been given the model document and asked to implement a given model uh on any pra- uh, using any programming language c++ java dot net uh you should be able to do that you know i will tell you my own experience i did work with one developer implementing some market risk model once and uh, when he was given um the model document he he got he was frightened actually he was clueless as to what what is to be done you know it was a hundred more than 100 pages document uh but uh, he he was slightly scared of it and then um, we discussed i actually told him that okay you don't need to understand every single step in the modeling process you don't need to understand the entire model document but you really need to understand the you know the 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 final part which is the final structure of the model and then implement that i explained to him about the input data 
to the models uh, to the, that given model and how to build a system around it and we did build uh, using uh, C sharp um, so that's important so what are the steps actually so if you already have experience in more in uh, working in the software industry you are a developer you already have the qualifications you are a amazing developer you have no experience in finance or trading or any of that you will still be preferred by the way right um, in the in in the quant uh, development uh, roles uh, so, but it's also good to have some knowledge of modeling and and finance and financial markets that really gives you an upper hand um, when it comes to interviews because there will be other people also who will be interviewed along you know next to you so if you want to compete with others i think it uh, very good to have knowledge about the quant finance industry if not at a very detailed level but uh, at a very high level uh, and if you are already working as a developer in other fields it's not technically a switch of career actually it's like trying a new career you may not even like it but you can give it a try and then you can move to other fields also but what I have seen is that people who move to quant development, um, they don't really move to other fields again because a uh, lot of times, uh, first of all, they'll, many of them will do like it. And uh, it's also difficult for you to make a switch because I think um, the salaries are at, at, at quite good actually. Hence, uh, it's difficult to switch again. Uh, many other companies may not be able to afford you actually okay so so the point I, I was trying to make here is that uh, it is not a career switch per se as I said in the beginning it uh, 80 to 90 percent of your skills are going to be uh, which are going to be used in that particular role um, are going to be primarily your programming skills other skills are secondary tertiary Okay, if you have further questions, uh, do let me know in the comment section. Some of you have contacted me on LinkedIn uh, asking this question. Some of you have even emailed me. Um, I know some Java developer, C++ developer have contacted me for that. Um, right, you are already qualified enough to apply for the job, uh, these roles. Uh, there are plenty of them. Uh, in India, you can find many roles uh, based out of Mumbai and Bangalore. Do check the you know these jobs on LinkedIn. Actually, you will find many. If you want to move to um, Europe, actually there are plenty of opportunity in Frankfurt, in Amsterdam, in London. If you're a if you're an amazing developer, uh, you can make really good money in Europe. Uh, certainly in US and all, but visa issue is a problem there. But uh, you can come to Europe and work here. Uh, visa issues are not at all there. Um, sponsorship is very, very easy and you will make quite money. Uh, well above 100K, 150K even. In some cases, even more than 200K. If you are a really senior, good senior developer and you have knowledge, amazing knowledge of software development and you have some in understanding of finance, you're interested to uh, learn a bit more of finance and markets then you can uh, you can make killer money uh, in quant development in europe there are plenty of opportunity many uh, the firms are struggling to even find good ones and they are willing to hire from india and all these places also so that's not an issue at all unlike in the us where sponsorship visa sponsorship getting an h1 visa is very very difficult if you need any help from my side do let me know i do have a co course on quantitative finance it's not focused on quantitative development. Um, however, the knowledge that you will gain from doing this course will be uh, quite useful if you are going for quant development interviews because any questions related to models and financial markets or banking products, you will actually be able to answer those questions if you have done this course. Um, I'll be happy to help you uh, in case you are interested. Thanks and uh, see you in another video.